Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pet, and I'm going to show you how to install mods with Forge. I've had a lot of people telling me they've been having problems um, with the mods that I've been reviewing. So um, I know Divine RPG and Pixelmon are two that are real popular mods that people are having a lot of trouble installing. So I'm going to show you guys how to install those. Actually really easy. Um, you probably get your mods from the Minecraft forums or another place, but in general, I get them right from here, minecraftforums.net. Anyways, um, if you've been messing around with your mods and having problems, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is delete your bin folder, because it's probably... So I messed up, man. Uh, so, um, basically, um, the way to get there be um, in Windows 7, it would be just to go to like your name. So, patch for me. Um, for you, if you don't have that, you have a different operating system. You're gonna want to type in um, in the search like app data to find your app data folder, and it may be hidden. If it is, you're gonna want to go to your folder options for um, Windows 7 is folder and search options. Go to view and make sure that it's on show hidden files and folders because it might be on to hide them. So that one. You might have problems with them um, depending on what operating system you are running. But you go to App Data, and then you go to Roaming, then Minecraft, and Bin. Just get rid of Bin if you're having problems with it. It's not going to screw up like your worlds unless you have like a modded world going on. Then you probably don't want to delete it. You probably want to save it. But um, if you don't, if you just have it all, if it's all screwed up, just just get a new one. And that all you have to do is um, log on to Minecraft, and it will give you a new folder that isn't messed up. I've messed mine up enough times to know that I could delete them, and it's all right. So after you log in, it will download your new bin folder, and you can see it's there right now. So now a good time to, um, you can close this when it's done, but um, right now it's going to go slow because I'm recording. Everything is slower when you record, it sucks. But I'm going to start with Pixelmon as um, one of them. And Pixelmon does a good job actually explaining to you what to do. Uh, Divine RPG doesn't, and I can understand that's why people don't know how to do it. Um, scroll down here, and how to install Pixelmon is going to be important, and so is download, obviously. But how to install it, it does explain it here for you. There's some even some tutorials, so um, those might be better than me, but who knows? Install Forge in the Minecraft jar. Um, extract Pixelmon into the Minecraft folder, which is actually a little different. This is one of the few ones that actually has you do it right into the Minecraft folder itself, and not just toss it into the mod section. But whatever, it doesn't make any difference really. So we'll go to download, and this is what's really nice about this is. Um, Open it in a new tab just so you can see. You should always do that, you know, in case it doesn't do that for you. This one actually explains um, which version of Forge to get, which is really nice. Um, some of them, sometimes if you're just like down, if you type in like download Forge or whatever, you might get the wrong version. So this one is really useful, and I know specifically that this version works with all the mods that I've tried at least. So I probably want to, you probably want to go with it. Um, 6.4.0.397. And where to get that exactly is. Um, I'm going to leave this link in the description uh, for you. It is files.minecraftforge.net, and you just have to find the exact one. It has, like, all the versions, so if you have, see another mod that says you need a specific version, you can go here, too. Um, this one says it wants you to have 6.4.0397, so let's find that. 6.4.0397 is right here, and the one you want to go with is actually the universal version, so make sure you do that. You might mess that up if you don't. So you got to wait a few seconds here, and we'll just get this going. Wait and skip it. Sometimes these ad fly things will try to download something. Don't do it. Wait for the skip ad and make sure it says what you're looking for. So there it is. So um, Minecraft Universal. So we will save that and download that real quick. And that was real quick. So as you can see, I've already downloaded it a couple of times. Do this. And um, all you need to do with this is just open it up. Um, you're going to need some kind of zipping program like WinRAR or 7-Zip though. So important. That is an important step. So um, okay. So we're going to go back to the dot Minecraft folder. Right, where the bin folder is now existing. Might want to get rid of uh, Minecraft at this point now that it is finished um, giving you this folder back. So you go in here, you're going to want to open uh, Minecraft with your WinRAR or Win whatever, your Win thing. All right, you, you can get rid of um, Meta Infinitive or whatever that stands for and get rid of it. You don't need it, it's not important. All right, um, highlight all this, or if there's probably a select all option, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't really take any longer to highlight. Drag it in, drag all that shit in there. And you should be good. All right. One thing you might want to do is also get rid. Of, I don't know why. I don't even know what the main effect of even means. Usually you don't need it though. So just bam, it is gone. We don't need it, guys. All right. Open up Minecraft just to make sure things are working. And they should be. If you did it like this, they should be. If you just downloaded Forge off some random site and it might be a wrong version, it might not work. It might just crash. And now it has the mods section right here, which is new. And it says you know the Forge and stuff like that. Once again, we can close out of this. Um, we're not going to need Forge anymore, so we can get that. Keep um, this open just in case, depending on what mod you're using, really. So this should be work. This should work for all mods, guys. Um, get ready to download. All right, go back in here. All right, we don't need this link anymore. We go. We can go back on Pixelmon and um, on the forums right here and get the download. So we'll get this download going right here. And um, this one, it said to extract it right into 
the Minecraft folder, which is not exactly what happens with all of them. Once again, skip this just to make sure, guys. All right, and there it is. So that's pretty obvious that that's it. And save that file. And we will open it. And I'm going to go over the different ways that actually um, it expects you to do it. Sometimes it has you drag it right into um, the mod, right into the jar, like this, like I did with Forge. Sometimes like that, so be aware of that. And a lot, of, most of the times, though, you just toss it in the mods folder. And that's extreme. You just drag it in. The whole zip. You don't need to do anything with it. Just drag it in there. Take the zip. Bam. In there. Done. That's usually how it is. Um, with this one, it's not, which is fine. So it's good to go over an example that isn't that way. But this one is real simple too, though. It's extracted it right into. The, it said in the in the instructions what to do. So um, go to you know the same thing. Pat app data roaming. It's not going to say pat on yours, guys. I'm just throwing that out there, just so you know. All right, Minecraft um, dot Minecraft, and just extract it right into there. And I've already done this, but doing it again. Replace them all because I have already done this, obviously. But okay, so now it should be good to go, guys. This should be good. So we'll log in, and it should work. You hope it will. If it doesn't work, you'll know. Usually it crashes or something, or it'll either crash then, or it'll crash when you go into your world. Usually just make it like a test world or something, so that you know. But yeah, this, it worked. So, you know, Pokemon thing on the side. Usually, in general though, um, easiest way to find out is if your mod is working just go to search items scroll all the way to the bottom that's where the mod items are and these clearly aren't ones that are you know in the game normally so this is work pixelmon you should have no problem installing that all right we can close out of this now and um i don't know if this is compatible with other ones and as you can see it actually put the pixelmon thing in the mods folder i don't know how that worked exactly but it doesn't really make any difference because we just followed the instructions and it worked so we're gonna get rid of that now and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get Divine RPG. A lot of people have asked about this one. Only reason I went with Pixelmon first to show you is because it really does a good job explaining Forge as a horror. I mean, um, <laughs> I'm not even on the right page here. Um, Divine RPG, they, the people who made it did a really shitty job explaining how to install it. I'll be honest with you. They didn't do a good job explaining. Um, to install it says drop the Divine RPG jar into your mods folder and have a compatible version of Minecraft Forge. Not everyone knows what a compatible version is, and that is why I think they did a really bad job because some people aren't going to be able to figure it out, and that's a, a lot of you guys, you know, aren't sure. So, um, download this. TWBW. Download now. And this one's kind of a bigger download. It is. For, for a mod, it is. But it adds, like, a bunch of dimensions, and that's why. So, we are waiting on this. My file's downloading. All right, guys. So, that is done. You're going to do the same thing. Open the containing folder. And with this one, all you have to do is just copy it. Because it says to just drag... It said just drag into um, the mods folder. And that's what we're going to do... So open this, and go to mods. I have like two of the same folder open for some reason. All right, but all you have to do is put it in there, and this should be done. Divine RPG, one of the easiest mods to install, really. It's just that they didn't explain um, what version of Forge to have, and most of you got a lot of people don't really know. So we'll just log in, and this should be this should be fine. Assuming my Minecraft doesn't crash. <laughs> if it crashes, that means you did something wrong. That's just what happens. Okay, and opening this into large while it's recording was a bad idea okay there we go okay so i'm gonna go back into the same little test world that i made um just to test to make sure this is working had a connection error i'm not sure what that means but i can guarantee you this is installed it's got all the stuff all the items all the stuff you know this is working connection error i'm not exactly sure what that means never had to say that before but this stuff is now in the game guys you can toss this armor on and go into the different dimensions and stuff. You know, I got the sword on. I meant to put the armor on. It was a bad example. Put the shoes on right now. Shoes. So yeah, this is Divine RPG is now installed and that was extremely easy. Um, quickly, I'll just go over some other things. Um, those are, the one, the way that Divine RPG went is, in general, how most of them are installed. And if you're using, if you want to know how to do mod loader, it's exactly the same as Forge, pretty much. You um, drag mod loader into the jar file just like you did with Forge. And at least with mod loader, my experience has been that you just drag it in like Forge as well. You just drag everything in. You don't put stuff in the mods folder. Usually, sometimes you do, but usually you just drag it right into the jar. It just involves dragging two things into the jar and you're done. It's usually pretty simple. Just make sure that your stuff is compatible because um, I don't believe this one is compatible with Pixelmon um, because I tried and it didn't <laughs> crash. 
that usually is your sign. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped you guys who are having problems. Um, if you're still having problems, let me know, and I'll try my best to help you. I'm, I can be honest with you that I'm not the best with mods, but I have a pretty decent understanding now of how to install them. So, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe, guys, for some good videos. I will see you guys later.